Hello and welcome to Hell Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. At one point, Ebola was in the news every single day. Now that the deadly epidemic is under control, we hear about it less. But that doesn't mean there is an important research still being done to destroy it forever. Joining me now is the medicine hunter, Chris Killam, to tell us about a plan that is having exciting results fighting Ebola. No kidding, a plan to fight Ebola. Yeah, this is a strange thing, Dr. Manny, because I think even just a few months ago, I was responding negatively to some claims that certain herbs could potentially be useful in treating Ebola because mm -hmm. they really couldn't. But um, more recently, uh, a Texas research group called Texas uh, Biomedical Research, mm -hmm. a team led by a guy named Dr. Robert da Davey, identified that a Chinese herb uh, which is called Stefania tetrandra. What can they put simple names on these things? You okay, know, Stephania I don't tetandria. know. You know, just like, like a good herb oh, right, should be yeah, the name. But, right. Well, the Chinese name's even better. Han Fang Zhe. You like that? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, but it contains a compound that actually, in uh, studies of human cell lines and studies of mice, uh, prevents the Ebola virus from replicating. And this is potentially very, very big now, news. Now, this is in the lab. This is, in, well, in living mice, yes. In living mice and, with Ebola. And, and in the lab with human cell lines. Right. They're testing this now on higher primates. Uh, they're trying to figure out the dosage. And uh, they have a good understanding of how this stuff actually works. Um, Cells, as you know, are covered with a, a plasma membrane. Right. And there are proteins in this plasma. And um, signals go through the proteins from the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell, and that causes changes. Right. Ebola requires these proteins, certain ones called two poor channel proteins, to send a message into the cell basically saying, let me in. Right. This ingredient from this Chinese herb, tetrandrine, causes the deactivation of those channels, preventing the virus from infecting the cell. So it doesn't kill the virus. In a way, it's kind of like um, what we see with cranberry and urinary tract infection. Uh, cranberry prevents uh, right. the, the infection from colonizing, but it doesn't kill it. It just goes out of the body. Right. And, and eventually, you know, Ebola needs to re-engineer itself inside the cell in order to m multiply and continue to grow. Otherwise, right. it just dies. Right. So, so this could be a breakthrough. So, um, all right. And th this herb, uh, at least in the laboratory, is it, how, how is it? Done. Is it? It's a. Is it some chemical parts of the herb? Is it the it, whole yeah. herb? Is, it, it's is it a, a very specific molecule of the herb. Yeah, you know, each herb has hundreds of molecules. Right. There's one called tetrandrine. That's the. That's it's the key It's an alkaloid. Ingredient. Right. And um, this agent uh, blocks the activity of these twin pore channel proteins. Right. So does it harm the cell at all? It does not. So it, you know, it does potential not. Potential side effect. And I it mean, also is useful for uh, treating edema, and it may additionally have benefits for reducing the risk of lung cancer. Now, the, 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 there are other herbs also, aside from this one, that are, are being looked at for Ebola? There are other herbs being looked at, but nothing has been as promising as this. Mm -hmm. This is... Um, if they get the dose right, I spoke with Robert Davy the other day because I really wanted to understand this. If they can get the dose right, you know, how many milligrams to kilogram of body weight, uh, they may see the same success results with monkeys and higher primates, and that could potentially lead to protection for people. Now, one of the challenges that we have had uh, in the recent news in regards to Ebola vaccine is that it's still not quite effective. So, you know, when we look about uh, when we look on, on herbal medicine, sometimes they don't require the same regulatory processes that, let's say, a pharmaceutical company may need to bring something to product. So is this something that you, you see in the future being tested on the field quicker than... Well, no, this is something that's in drug development. So a drug development. So they're, they're following the pharmaceutical path. pathway. Yeah. So this could be 
years down the road. Now, maybe if the results are good, there'll be some sort of accelerated path because right. of the desperate need. Um, there's a lot of conversation about that right now. The, the problem with the vaccines is uh, actually not that they're ineffective. It's that now with dwindling populations of people suffering from Ebola, which is a good thing, right. there aren't enough people to test to ensure that these work. In fact, WHO just announced a few days ago yet another vaccine that's going into testing. But if the population of people infected lowers, which is what we want, we don't want people dying, right, right, then right. there's insufficient data to determine, yeah, this stuff really works. Yeah. Any other potential health benefits to this herb aside from the prevention of Ebola transmission? It's a diuretic. It's used to treat edema, so swelling due to increased fluid. Um, there is an intriguing study showing that, um, you know, uh, some forms of lung cancer resist uh, chemotherapeutic agents. Mm -hmm. When you take this particular herb with these chemotherapeutic agents, it causes them to be more active in cases of lung cancer. So this is kind of an interesting example of complementary medicine using a natural agent to help a drug to be more active, just like in our conversation with some of the uh, toxins from sea creatures right. that are used as transporters. Right. They're not the medicines themselves, but transporters for better delivery of drugs into uh, cells and organs for cancer. All right, well, the great stuff. You're always with the latest news Thank in the you, herbal world. Happy Thank to be you. here. <laughs> Thank you. And if you have any questions, send them here at fox at drmanny.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.